So what you do with this is you, with the sewing system, you pop that filter needle in. It maintains the integrity, so it's never open to wear, so your risk of infection is lower. So you remain maintain a closed system as much as possible. So the filter needle's there. The vacuum is now gone. And then we will, this is again unique to this system. So you've got a filter. It's a 50 micron filter, which actually uh, helps filter out anything that you don't want. And again, we're gonna take off the PPP fraction. And with a 22 mil tube, there should be about 12, 13 mils in there. So you leave it in there. So it, start, it gives you one free hand. And you place this carefully down to go down as far as you think you need and for this particular one you're gonna to have to take off quite a lot of the plasma so if there's about 12 in there you're taking about 10 off and leaving two behind so I just want to have a slightly better look at it and what you can do is just tip it if you need to a little bit just to make sure you get And I've got 10 there now. I think I'm happy with that. So there's 10 in here. The difference between the system, you'll have seen the lovely gold plasma. Uh, it's, you've got no contamination of red cells. You don't want red cells in there. Red cells create apoptosis, cell death. They create inflammation. There's a small chance that as you get a breakdown of the red cells, you can create hemocyber in staining. So actually you can generate uh, pigmentation in your patient, which can take quite a long time then or retreatments to get rid of. So you don't want red cells in if you can help it uh, because it's got nothing beneficial for, for skin in it. Um, but your, uh, you've, what you get left with now in this tube is a very, very rich PRP. So this two mils that's left, uh, giving us a 22 mil whole blood tube and you retain around about 85 to 90 percent of your platelets That's nearly all of them again very high yield and high efficiency system you uh, uh, are, Have got a PRP in here now that is around about tenfold eight to tenfold concentrated In these two mils that are left behind somewhere between eight to tenfold concentrated so you know Quite, quite rich. It's absolute dosing. If you've gone fourfold, because um, it's something that people should know. As a clinician, you should know dosing. Uh, it's like any drug. You know, you should know if you're giving someone a gram of paracetamol or giving them 100 milligrams. Uh, so, uh, you know, or for your blood pressure pill. And it's the same with this. This is a treatment. It's a medical grade treatment. So, if somebody actually asks you, how many platelets have you put into somebody? You should have an idea. Um, and we know that if you go up to about um, fourfold concentration, uh, average patient's blood count is about 250,000 platelets per microliter. Um, a fourfold concentration means you're now dealing with about a million platelets per microliter, which then gives you a dose of about a billion platelets per mil of injection. If you're then putting five in, you're giving the patient total dose of five billion platelets and, and, and you know like I said any any responsible clinician should actually know that not not have to guess it yeah it's one two three four it doesn't take very long do probably a couple of seconds so uh, I do it a lot and then you're gonna leave this on the side and you'll redo that because the platelets will settle again so that's the resuspension step so I think people should you know you have to know the product you're using okay so if you compare uh, a PRF or an injectable PRF to uh, a poor PRP, it may well have more platelets in it. If you compare it to a high quality PRP, like this system, there's no way it has more platelets in it. We've, we've analyzed that in our labs and we know that's not true. Uh, you can't really get a buffy coat that will give you more platelets than this system. Not without double spinning and triple spinning, as I described to you before. So uh, you get yeah, a high purity PRP, no red cell contamination, minimal leukocytes, no neutrophils and granulocytes are pro-inflammatory or pushed out of the system uh, you, and so you end up with a really high pure purity PRP with monocytes that are retained and we explain the advantage of monocytes because they're anabolic and pro-regeneration and they drive the platelets to work harder uh, and they help the signaling effects between the cells that you're working with um, and they also up to up regulate stem cell responses quite significantly when they're present.